morning. It's Sunday morning, June 26, 2022, and it's a joy to be able to share some thoughts with you from the scriptures today. I'm Pastor Mike Custer, the pastor of Bible Baptist Church in Grand Forks, North Dakota, and we'll read this morning for our devotions from Proverbs chapter 25, verse 15. Proverbs chapter 25, verse 15 says this, by long forbearing is a pin, is a prince persuaded, and a soft tongue breaketh the bone. And this verse is simply about the influence of words. And sometimes people get the idea that force is the way to get things done. And the Bible says a soft answer breaketh the bone. Soft tongue, I should say, breaks the bones. And and um, by long forbearing is a prince persuaded in the soft tongue breaketh the bone it's far better instead of trying to use brute force to accomplish our ends to just use kind words and persuasion the bible speaks of a word fitly spoken how it's like apples of gold in pictures of silver and we covered this principle just a few days ago in our morning devotions and here's another one that kind of speaks to that same kind of thing don't try to by brute force accomplish your goals and if you are right about something you should be able just to persuade somebody with the use of soft words especially if those soft words come from the scriptures you know the bible says that the holy spirit speaks in a still small voice and that can be a pretty powerful influence in the lives of individuals so that their heart is in such turmoil and they're so unsettled in their spirit by Holy Spirit conviction that they will willingly yield to God, and that's the way God intended for it to be. But that's not a matter of the so, of, of of you know of of breaking bones. It's not a matter of brute force. I remember back in the Old Testament when Elijah was fleeing from God, he saw he thought he would find God in the earthquake, but God was not in the earthquake and in the wind that rent the rocks in pieces, but God was not in the wind, and in a fire, but God was not in the fire. And finally God spoke to him in a still, small voice and said, What doest thou here, Elijah? And it was, it was through this uh, persuasive, divine voice that God, pers- that God caused Elijah to want to do what God desired that he would do. And the Spirit of God will woo people, and will bring conviction to hearts and persuade people to do things with a still small voice, not with brute force. And may God help us to be willing to talk reasonably with people and not to try to force them to do things and persuade them to do things maybe that they would not be inclined to do anyway. Let the Lord do the work. Let God speak to hearts. A soft answer many times will be the thing that Break the breaks the bones, a soft tongue will be the thing that will have the greatest influence in people's lives. And this is one of the great arguments against getting involved in bitter disputes and debates with people about various issues. You won't convince people with your strong arguments. In fact, an old cliche is a man convinced against his will is of the same opinion still. Just be a good example when you're sharing the gospel with people. Just show them the love of Christ and reason with them and show them truth from God's word and let the Spirit of God do that great work in hearts. That will be the the surety that the work is being done well and being done properly when God does it. Just follow this bit of biblical counsel advice, and I believe that it will prove to be effective in your life as well. God bless you today.